Hey, hey, my kinder friends. Welcome to art, and it is Thursday, art day, best day of the week. I am nice and colorful today because it is neon day at school, and Miss A is nice and neon. But let's get started on our work today. We are talking about Mexican folk art, okay? Mexican folk art is really, really important. Um, there is a lot of color, a lot of patterns, a lot of really neat things in this type of art. And a lot of the times we see these things um, that we're gonna actually be drawing today like in restaurants, uh, Mexican restaurants or even people's houses um, or even at stores like for decorations. And um, with the Mexican folk art, folk art, I can't say it. <laughs> One thing that is popular is the sun. And then another thing is the moon. So everybody talks about the sun and the moon. Now, we are focusing on patterns. We are focusing on um, I draw, you draw. Okay, so if you need to pause at any time, don't forget, pause when you need to, to catch up. You're gonna need um, a pencil today and a piece of paper, okay? Um, oh, I moved my thing here. Miss A is gonna add some pictures of the Mexican folk art um, and Mexican folk art can be a lot of things. It can be pottery, um, it can be paintings, it can be pictures. But uh, most of the time, a lot of the time, it, it has a lot of pottery and people do a lot of painting on that pottery. Like I said, with lots of color, lots of patterns and lots of designs, even lots of lines. We've talked about those before. Now, we're gonna be doing our suns. Now, Miss A started the patterns, but we're gonna do the rest of it next week. But we're gonna learn how to draw our sun today, okay? So in just a moment, I'm gonna add in the pictures. We're gonna watch the how-to video and then you're gonna snap a quick picture and upload to Schoology. So I hope you enjoyed this lesson this week. Um, if you need help, you can type in the word Mexican folk art to help you or Mexican folk art sun and those will pop up and there's always lots of fun ideas. But for now, I think the how-to video will do its, its thing. But, I've literally yawned in like every video, my friends. Oh my goodness, um, I need some more coffee. So here we go. How-to video coming at you in three, two, one, here we go. Hello, kinder friends. Welcome back. Today we are working on our Mexican folk art suns. Now, our suns are all about patterns. Lots and lots of patterns. So we're gonna start by drawing today. All we're doing is drawing the sun today. The patterns and the color will come next week. So right now, all you need is a pencil and a paper. That's it. This lesson's gonna be kind of quick today because we're just doing the drawing but I'm really excited because these turn out so beautiful. So here we go. We are gonna start with the circle today. Now normally when you're in Miss A's classroom, she'll give you a circle, but because we're not in Miss A's room, we're gonna try our best and our hardest to draw a circle. If we need mom and dad's help or somebody's help, please ask them. Here we go. Miss A is gonna draw this as best as she can. She's gonna draw a big old circle in the middle of her page, okay? Everybody right now, start with a circle. The next thing we are going to do is draw our eyes. Sorry, I'm gonna say blanked out for a second. Our eyes, okay. So here we go. I am going to start with an eyebrow, okay? Now, Miss A is gonna start right here, okay? There's one eyebrow. Everybody do that right now, one eyebrow. Miss A is gonna make another one on the other side. And then underneath, I'm gonna draw some eyes, okay? Now, our eyes are gonna be closed and we're gonna have some eyelashes. Okay, so Miss A is gonna draw a U shape. Uh, uh, that's what the U say it sound makes, uh, okay? Now, I'm gonna draw some eyelashes. Okay, eyelashes there. And then 
I am going to do something kind of funny. And every time I do this, my kinder friends laugh because they're like, Miss A, that looks so silly. But Miss A is going to draw another little U shape right here. Now here comes the funny part. We are going to start from the U shape and attach it to the eyebrows. Everybody's like, Miss A, it looks so funny. It doesn't look like a nose, but on our son, it's gonna be our son's nose. Now, like I said, if you, well, I've said before, if you need to pause and um, catch up to Miss A, please do so. Here we go with the mouth. Now, here's what we're going to do. Here's how we draw a mouth on our son. Now, we're gonna draw lips on our son because it is a girl son because she's gonna be the Mexican folk art son. Miss A is going to draw this shape right here. It looks like the lowercase m, but stretched out. And then I'm just going to add another U at the bottom of it and then a line in between. Try your best to draw those lips for Miss A. Or if you get stuck on the lips, here's another way. Miss A will draw this on the back for you. If you get stuck on the lips, okay, here's my son. You can do this. Just draw a smile because we're going to have some cheeks. Okay. So Miss A is going to draw some cheeks, some circles. Those are going to be our cheeks for our son. Okay. And then we're going to draw some, it almost looks like flower petals. Everybody says, Miss A, this ends up looking like a flower and it's okay if it does, but it's going to be a sun. We're going to draw some big triangle shapes. Miss A is going to start by drawing a big triangle as best as I can. You see that? Big old triangle. She's gonna continue doing that around the page. If you gotta turn your page to do your big triangle, that's okay. Big triangles. Why do you think they have to be big? Anybody wanna take a guess? I know you, I can't hear you, but I'd like, like for you to guess. We have to draw the big triangles because we want to fit lots of pattern into our triangles. If we draw them too tiny, we're not gonna be able to fit anything in them. Okay, last triangle. Okay, here we go. So friends, Miss A has her big old sun with her sun rays. They look like petals, but they're sun rays. And this is what our sun's gonna look like for right now. Next week, we're gonna get to add things like design. So like stripes, okay. We'll add different patterns in our sun, okay. So for right now though, all you're doing is the outline, okay. Next week, we're gonna add some designs. So I hope you enjoyed the start of our Mexican folk sons, um, folk art sons, sorry. Um, they're really beautiful and bright and colorful, and I can't wait for you to send me a picture so I can see them on Schoology. Enjoy your time, my kinder friends, and I hope you have a good week and a good weekend. Talk to you soon. Goodbye.